Let's take a look at a past paper question using proof by induction with series. Um, part A of the question says proof by induction that we're adding up these terms and the result that we're trying to get to is n times 2 to the n. The key thing to start, even start in this question right, is to understand them, like, what this represents. Okay, So the individual terms look like this and this last term is key. Like You could say that we're doing the sum from 1 to n of the terms which look like this. Okay, and the general terms, if you just looked at 2 and then 3 times 2, you, you wouldn't actually really, you, you may struggle to see what this sequence is. Um, but the terms are all of the form r plus 1, 2 to the r minus 1. If you just check, like if you sub 1 in, look what happens. You get 1 plus 1, so you get 2 times by 2 to the power 1 minus 1, so you get 2 two times 2 to the power 0, which is 2 times 1, which is this. If you sub 2 in, you get 3. And then 2 minus 1, so 2 to the power 1, you get 3 times 2. So this is the key to realising that the terms themselves look like this. And the result that adds them all up is what's on the right hand side. So this formula will add up these terms in the sequence for us. Okay, so once we've interpreted what it means, we'll start the induction process. So n equals 1, we're starting from greater than or equal to 1. If n equals 1, 1 plus 1, 2 to the 0 equals 1 times 2 to the 1. So 2 equals 2. Okay, so we know it works for the first term in the sequence. Now we'll assume true for the general term, n equals k, so the sum from 1 to k should look like this. At this point, I like to write down what I'm aiming to end up with. So the aim for n equals k plus 1, the sum of k plus 1 should end up looking like k plus 1, 2 to the k plus 1. Like if, if we can prove this result, for the next term, it's going to end up looking like this. Okay, so set it out like we normally would. So the sum of k plus 1 would equal the sum of k plus 1. the next term in the sequence. Okay, so the sum of the first k terms we're going to assume looks like this. The next term in the sequence, remember this thing inside describes what the individual terms looks like. Okay, so the k plus 1 term would be k plus 1 plus 1, 2 to the power k plus 1 minus 1. So we've got to tidy this up and then hopefully end up with this result here. Okay, so let's see if we can do this. Okay, so look at what we're left with. Both of these terms have got a common factor of 2 to the power k. Now, I know it's not immediately going to get to this answer, but let's see. We can take 2 to the k out of both. If we take 2 to the k out of both, we're left with k plus k plus 2. Also known as 2k plus 2. Now all we've got to do is be good with our, our index form and we've got our answer. Like we can take a common factor of 2 out now, can't we? So we could write it as 2 to the k times by 2 to the 1 
K plus one. And think about how indices work. We add the powers when we multiply, so that would be the same as t to the k plus 1 multiplied by k plus 1, which is our result that we were aiming for. Okay, finish it off with your little statement. Okay, so true for n equals 1 if assume true. For n equals k, this implies true for n equals k plus 1. So by induction, true for all positive integers. Okay, let's try another one. Actually, let's finish the question first. Okay, so the second part of the question says, we're gonna show that there's a result um, that works for the sum from n plus one to two n. Now, we, we know this result works now, so we can use this result, but look at what we're being asked. We're not being asked for the sum from one to n. Okay, we're being asked for the sum from r equals n plus 1 to 2n. So if you think about what's happening here, right, you've got your first term, and let's just call that u1 plus the second term. Okay, think about how this notation works, right? We're not starting with the first term, we're not going from 1. We're going from the n plus 1 term. So we, we need some way of adding up the n plus 1 term all the way to the 2n term. And if you think about it, we can find the sum from 1 to 2n. So if we did the sum of all of the terms from the first term to the 2n, And then we could subtract those ones, because we don't want those. If we subtract the first term up to the nth term. That would leave us with what we're being asked for, which is the sum from n plus 1 to 2n. A common mistake that people make on this topic is they, they, they see the sum from n plus 1 to 2n and for some reason they subtract n plus 1. But if you subtract the n plus 1 term, it's not going to leave you with, with what you need. Okay, So if we want to start with n plus 1, we subtract the first n terms, don't we? Okay, So now that we've realised this is what we can do, it's, it's actually a really quick question. Like The sum from 1 to 2n. Remember this result here tells us the sum. So maybe maybe let's do this separately. So the sum from r equals 1 to 2n would be equivalent to 2n 2 to the power 2n. Okay and the sum from 1 to n which is what we're going to subtract is just n to the n. So our sum that we want would be the sum of two n terms minus the sum of n terms. Okay. Um, looking at the result that we're trying to get to. Okay. I would. I am going to look at this actually to help me here because I could. There's a couple of ways I could rearrange this. We we want to take a factor of n out, and we also want to take a factor of two n out. Okay. So looking at both of these terms, clearly there's a factor of n that we can take out. 
is there a factor of two to the power of n that we can take out? I suppose we've got to be good at our index form here. Two to the two n would be the same as two to the n squared. Or you could also think about it as two to the n times by two to the n. So if we think about this, and hopefully we can see what happens when we take these factors out. So if we take the n out of both, and we take 2 to the n out of both, we're left with 2. If we take 2 to the n out of this, we're still left with another 2 to the n. And if we take the n out of this, and the 2 to the n out of this, we're left clearly with just with minus 1 only. Okay, so we're there, like the result that we want is, is, is what we've got, n 2 to the n. 2 to the 1 times 2 to the n would be 2 to the n plus 1, minus 1. Okay, I did say let's do another one, but I think that was actually enough for now, so we'll, we'll stop the video there, but we'll try some more in the next video. Alright, thanks guys.